Here we are in Brantford, Ontario at the fifth annual meeting of the Hazelnut Growers Association where we have a combination of farmers who want to grow hazelnuts but most importantly we have the customer Ferrero Rocher who has set up their North American operations here in Brantford employ at peak season 1200 employees but to me the key is they're absolutely world-class in their demand they want traceability they want exacting quality and they want to buy from our growers but we have to provide the product that they need to maintain their reputation here we have a situation where we have huge customer pull we have the growing conditions that can do it we have to adapt hazelnuts but it's a great opportunity and it is a game changer for agriculture. Uh, we first started talking about this project in 2005 uh, when Ferrero had started building their plant in Brantford. So we finally got trees in the ground in 2008 and these are the first trees and so there this is their sixth growing season. We, ha we have another planting over there which was planted in 2009 and they're in their fifth growing season and we're very happy with the results that we've seen so far and I know that Ferrero is very happy with what they've seen in this area and you know they're prepared to invest time and effort and energy and resources into promoting a hazelnut industry in this area because with the plant in Brantford it's ideal for them. But now a very important point what about the procurement. Ferrero is focused on high quality sourcing. This is a must. This is a key point for us. I will underline this many times. And we focus on the industrial, I mean to avoid biological defect, hygiene, processing standards, on organoleptic, fragrance, freshness, chemical composition. The GAP standards, environmental sustainability and social sustainability. And in order to ensure stable and quality supplies of hazelnuts, we focus on the strict selection of supplier at the local level and the supervision of the entire supply chain. So there's a common interest to develop to the development of hazelnut cultivation. So this uh, memorandum really sets the stage for it and it uh, formalizes for support. Uh, for us and, and our contribution to what uh, the hazelnut industry will do and it's the principle for consultation with the Ontario Hazelnut Associations uh, and we know it's going to result in a multi-million dollar business right so it, it's going to be more than just the, the production of the from the left the, the hazelnut in the tree to the to the fresh nut to the, to the manufactured product there's going to be other spin-off uh, companies and products that come out of this uh, this development well, the interesting thing with the hazelnuts is the, is the shape and the quality of the nuts and what have you. The one we have here is a very elongated nut. That is not good for roasting because if you want to roast a nuts, a round nut is very nice, easier to roast than an oval nut. And then we have this one, Tonda Gizifoni, is the one that you'll find in Ferrero Rocher chocolates. And it's much more a round nut. Hazelnuts, we have a big pull in Ferrero. The world demand is higher than the world supply and will be in the foreseeable future. It's an easy crop to grow, it's an easy crop to manage. It's suited to this area and it's probably for me one of the first crops that I've seen that I've said, well, this is a new crop for this area and it will work.